Hi everyone, I'm Katie Kemper with Sly Fox Fabrics here for our weekly fabric reveal. And um, actually Mary Beth's here too, so Hi that'll everybody. be fun. <laughs> it's old home week. <laughs> in the home. In the it's home. Old home week in the home. So see here, I don't have anybody on yet, so hopefully I'm actually live in the group. Can you find me? Yeah. Hmm. I'll look on my phone too. It's not telling me I'm live. You should be popping up here. Okay, somebody said hello. Hello. There they are. They're popping up. I'm there. How come I can't find you? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Hello, everybody. Um, trying to find me here so Mary Beth can see me in the group. Find you. Here I am. You find me on mine. Okay. Go back over here. Mm hmm. So we have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fabrics to go through today. And I'm trying to find the video for Mary Beth. I'm going to go out of the group. Um, go back in I'm the group. Banned. She's here banned. <laughs> wow, here we go. Maybe it'll be in notifications. All right, I'll play around. Well, you can do it on my phone if you want. If okay. you want to watch, you can watch there because I don't. I popped up on my own phone. See, here's a spider. I'm in my living room. I was telling my husband this morning that we have spiders everywhere. I just I don't see them. I'm like, I see them all the time. There's one sitting right next to me. <laughs> okay, so let's get uh, let's get moving with the fabric. This is, I think, the best lighting. I went outside. I thought, wouldn't it be great to do this outside? and have some natural light on the fabric, but um, the natural light's actually better in the house than outside. All right, so we're gonna start off today with DTYs. Um, a DTY is, it stands for Drawn Textured Yarn. It's just a description of the yarn that makes up the fabric. So, the best way to describe this is a, it's a knit jersey. It's a knit jersey that is, um, uh, it's got great flow. It's, some are silkier than others. It's just kind of, I don't know why. This one is, um, it's not silky. Let me see the next one. It's not uh, super silky, but it has, it's, how would I, how would I describe this? Here, feel this. How would you describe this? Like the hand. Jersey-ish. Yeah, it just, it feels jersey-ish. So, um, basically, uh, well, first of all, the name is Enamored in Black. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Can I have it? <laughs> and um, this is oftentimes the base for brush poly. So, DTY, FDY, um, sometimes ITY, some of the, there's all these acronyms to describe the yarns, but basically this is the brush poly base without being brushed. So it's going to, um, it's going to drape very similar to brush poly and it's going to, you know, act very similar in your garments. This is great for, um, kimonos and, uh, flowy tops. Um, anything you'd use brush poly for, you could use this for. Let me kind of angle you down so you get more of the fabric in the picture. Uh, let's see here. Um, dresses, skirts, uh, soft flowy pants or bottoms. All right, so this is, the coordinates for this are black, white, marigold, and sienna. Um, I don't have any of the coordinates to show with it, but um, you'll take my word for it, I'm sure. <laughs> so 
It's got, let's see here, 50% horizontal stretch, 25% vertical stretch. And let's see if we can get some good, see how it's very drapey. So all the fabrics I'm showing you today, by the way, uh, they're already live on the website. All right, so this is enamored in black. So I'm gonna throw it at Mary Beth. That's what oh, she came you. for. <laughs> I forgot about that. And uh, the next one is also a DTY. It's called Camilla in Sunflower. It's a very happy fabric, and you can tell I'm a big fan of yellow because everything in my living room is yellow. Um, so I love this. It's very bright and cheery. I think it's beautiful. This would be a really cute um, dolman type top. Something that looks like, uh, what are those dresses, caftan? I love caftan dresses. This would be a really cool caftan dress. That's what they're called, right? Caftan. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you see tops that are, they're like a caftan dress. Did we make a you top. one like that flutter top or whatever it was called? We did. Yeah. We did. We, yeah. I love those kind of tops. This would be really pretty in that. Um, I'm going to hold it up nice and close for you so you can get the detail on it. It's Camilla and Sunflower. And the coordinates for this are white and black. And when I say coordinates, I'm speaking strictly of uh, brush poly, I do believe. Um, I, Stephanie's probably on. She can she, she can vouch for that, that, that the coordinates are brush poly. So Camilla is gorgeous. I love this. Oh, yes. I can throw it at you. Our next one is Modal Jersey in white. And um, you guys know that we often have this, this jersey. We've never had it in white before. We've had it in ivory, but never in white. Uh, it's a 250 GSM. It has a really nice weight. And you can see I'm holding it up to my olive shirt. You get a little, a tiny bit of show through. Because one, one of the questions with white is, um, is it see-through? This is going to give you a really nice top that's not see-through. Because... See, when I put it on like a shirt, you can't even see my olive green. I'm wearing olive green modal. Actually, my whole outfit for today is modal. It is. Because I have <laughs> pants in the taupe modal with my, um, with my olive green modal, but you can't see it behind here. Is that prepared for dye? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is a prepared for dye or not. Um, maybe Stephanie can verify if, it, if it's listed that way. Uh, it has a great weight, and um, the the drape is gorgeous. The bamboo that we had before came from the same supplier. I know we had a lot of people order the white bamboo to do tie dye. Okay. And that I'm pretty sure that was a prepared for dye. So it's possible that this is a lot of white tsar. Um, so this has a 50 50 stretch. So 50 horizontal, 50 vertical, and some of you might go, great, we can make leggings with it. But actually, leggings out of Modal are like pajamas. <laughs> they look like pajamas. But the, the stretch is there, and the recovery is excellent. It has a great recovery. That's one of the nice things about Modal um, is, unlike um, a lot of other rayons, it, it, it snaps back, the Super Modal does, which is what this is, Super Rayon Modal. So... It's a, yeah, it's a gorgeous fabric. Did you miss that? I did. <laughs> okay, our next one, oh, it's another Modal. Oh, I love this color, Ooh. it's my favorite. So it's great. turquoise, no, it's tropical blue. Gorgeous. So, as is typical, what happens when we get on screen is some of the yellow gets pulled out of the, um, the teal type color. So it's a lot more blue on the screen than it is in person. It's definitely like a turquoise type color. Uh, it's the same as the white. It's the rayon, the Modal jersey, uh, 250 GSM. Soft, silky hand, just gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. 50-50 um, stretch. 
And Modal, great for all the stuff that you all, you know, use typical jerseys for. Flowy tops, um, be great for tunic dresses, uh, maxi dresses, maxi skirts, pants. These are, I'm addicted to the Portlanders by, it's New Horizons, right? I'm pretty sure new Portlanders are a New Horizons um, pattern, but I wear all summer long, I wear Modal uh, jersey in Portlanders because I like to cover my legs and it gets hot here. Um, it's been 80s, 90s this summer. Let them know that color is way prettier than it's showing. Them. Oh yeah, this color is way prettier. I wonder if I hold the yellow next to it if it'll balance it out. No. <laughs> It doesn't. It doesn't. I, I can't tell you. I, I have a lamp. Yeah, it doesn't. It's, oh man. So this, the chair I'm sitting in is gold and I have a gold pillow and oh, I love gold and turquoise together. So Yeah, that didn't do a thing. Yeah, it didn't do a thing. But What about white? What about the white piece of paper? Oh, that might work. Let me throw this up here. No. Nothing? Nothing. It's okay. beautiful. Anyway, it's really, really pretty. It is really pretty. It's so pretty, I'm just going to toss it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to catch it. Okay, next up is the Swiss Dot Jersey in Pineapple. It's a really pretty yellow color. What a great name. It's yeah. a great name. So the Swiss Dot Jersey, um, we've had this in other colorways. It's really cute. And you know, people ask me for Swiss Dot for years, and I'm like, well, you know, it's kind of hard to find the woven Swiss Dot, even if we did, I don't know, like, you know, how fast it would move, yada, yada, yada. And then a supplier sent me this, and we were like, oh my gosh, we have to get this in, because, I mean, it's all the beauty of Swiss Dot woven in a knit. Um, it's Poly Rayon Blend. And it has great um, stretch and recovery. One of the great things when you mix poly and rayon is you get the best features of both fabrics. So you get a fabric that with the polyester is less likely to wrinkle and has great recovery. And then with the rayon, you get this silky hand and a beautiful, a really beautiful drape. So let's see what else can I say about this. 50% horizontal stretch, and then it's stable vertically, so you just have to take that into account on your patterns um, that, the, that it doesn't have any vertical stretch. Uh, okay. Pineapple. That is really cute. It is. All right, our next one is Cotton Spandex Aquamarine. And this is a restock. Again, it's a it's a little it's more blue on the video than in real life. But aquamarine, it's a beautiful color. And this cotton spandex is 95 cotton, 5% spandex. Um, and it's it's very soft. And the more you wear it and wash it, the even softer it gets. It's really, really nice. Um, Let's see here, what do we have for our stretch? So it has 75% horizontal stretch, 40% vertical stretch. It's great for t-shirts, shorts. You can make shorts for you, your kids. Um, let's see what else. Pretty much any kind of top that, that you know requires a jersey knit. Um, you could do dresses out of it, tunics, lightweight jackets. If you like, you know, just want something nice and lightweight to throw over your arms. Um, it's perfect for that. It's, this is a great fabric for kids too. Cotton spandex. And you were right, Portlanders are new Okay, <laughs> I was right. I had a look at it. My Portlanders are new horizons, so I have terrible memory and... I want to say something wrong. Our next one is a DVP double brush poly and it's California bluebells in pinks. That's so cute. 
It is really cute. We've had this in other colorways. This is in brand new colorway. It's really quite soft and delicious. Um, so the back, the, the main color is blue. It's like a, you can hardly see it because there's so much going on here. It's a, um, it's like a soft blue. And then you have these really pretty pink and deep uh, flowers that are almost like a poppy red color with blue leaves. It's really pretty. And the coordinates for it are white and black. There's little black dots in the flowers there and, and a little bit of white. Now you could, I was looking at these. Like it went with it when it was sitting beside it. Well, yeah, because the coordinates listed are always for brush poly. Mm -hmm. So this um, cotton spandex and aquamarine does go with it. You could pair these together. Cute little bottoms with the cotton spandex. Somebody, or vice speaking versa. of which, did ask if cotton spandex is good for pajamas. Cotton spandex is great for pajamas. And then you can use your leftovers to make underwear. Oh, your yeah. It's yeah. Great use underwear. cotton spandex for underwear. Or you could you, you can just use crotches, it in the crotch, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. If you want to use something else, but I have tons of scraps of that. Yeah, I need this, underwear. yeah. The underwear are great scrap busters. So are um, headbands. This would be good for headbands yeah. too. What about that? Um, Modal. Yeah, the Modal. You hear my chair creaking? Okay. That's not her chair. <laughs> the Modal is a really pretty coordinate too. So pretty. You could even do like a um, maxi skirt out of the oh, that would print with a top out of the model or the cotton spandex. That would really be adorable. That Ravinia skirt would be really cute with that. Yeah, it would. The Love Notions Ravinia. Yeah. Hand me that white just so I can show them the white against it too. Because the white brush poly is listed as a coordinate. Really, yeah, look at that. It really brightens it, it up. Does. Even though this is the model, you could pair it with it. But the white is white. The white, yeah, white is white. Just like black is black, white is white. So it really brightens it up. It's a lot of fun. That's our last fabric. I know. It went so fast. We're only 17 minutes in. Shoot, what should we talk about? <laughs> we have so much more time. Uh, the stretch on this one is 75 horizontal and 25 vertical. see what else can we say any any more questions before we close out no stephanie that was it was she very said, fast so fast yes it is julie and by the way stephanie you did an amazing job last week i think you're very much a natural at uh the fabric reveals so. yeah you did great i even held my hand up for you to throw me the fabric <laughs> Yeah, that was really fast, guys. I I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I'm just looking to see if that. Okay. Let's see. I'll just hang on for a few more seconds, see if we get any more questions. Anybody wants to see anything else? All right, I don't, I don't see any more. No, I think you answered all their questions. Oh, my top, um, Jennifer, my top is the olive modal, which we haven't had in in a long time. Um, it wasn't, it hasn't been available from the supplier. Hopefully, it'll be back in for this fall. And let's see. And then my pants were taupe, so. I think I, I might look naked today walking around in taupe <laughs> pants with an olive top. <laughs> yeah, it's like wearing pajamas when you wear everything modal. It's great. Oh, <laughs> me want to sew. Morgan wants to know why I call my mom by her first name. I don't call my mom by her first name. I only call her that when we're here in the Sly Fox oh, Reel. Well, I'd her if she called me very <laughs> I only call her that so that you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, I think it makes it a lot easier than saying mom. <laughs> Plus, she's my business partner. It, it makes or she her was. Feel 12 if she calls me mom. <laughs> it does. She was my business partner, so got to give her credence. Uh, 
The so oh my pattern for the top. I didn't tell you guys what it is. It's um. Is this a true romance? It's true romance with by no Pattern sleeves. Emporium with no sleeves. With the yeah, I made that. <laughs> it was before they came out with a sleeveless hack. I I just did it myself. And it actually, you'll see that it doesn't drape great because I didn't make the right size. So I always push it over my bra straps because I just don't like them to show. So then it drapes funny. But but you can see the the waistband is, and you know, it's that puffy, flowy. Um, blouse. Yeah, blouse. Yeah, I just think it's really pretty. I do think it's very romantic. And I love the, I love the neckline on it. And when I um, top stitched it, it really made it lay really, ni you know, real nice and flat. <laughs> Jennifer said she didn't realize you were my mom for a very long time. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> I was very young. Okay. Any, anything else, guys? I feel like everybody's a little chatty today. Yeah. It's fun. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and go because I think that you guys have had all your questions answered. It was really great to see you today. And, um, oh, Amy says, have you had more time to sew? I've had time to sew except for I spent it sitting outside <laughs> instead of sewing because I know I'm going to get really, um, I'm going to feel real cagey this winter inside all the time. I'll have no kids to run around. My daughter goes to college today. So we're moving her into her dorm this evening. And that's it. I have now my duties as a mom are kind of done. So I'll just be home. So I figure I'm going to sew all fall and all winter. I might as well sit outside and enjoy being outside um, while the, the weather is nice and pretty. So yeah, you got to soak in that sun, get lots of vitamin D. So yeah, but I'll make sure that you guys... I show you what I sew as long as it turns out good. <laughs> I have some really cute stuff planned, so I'm excited about it. And um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll be getting to that. Trust me. All right, ladies, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to close out. And I will see you next week. I have a whole other stack of gorgeous fabrics to show you for next week. And this stuff is already live on the site. So go to slifeboxfabrics.com and check it out. And I will see you next week. Bye, everybody.